Right now, in Halab, Syria, just an eight-hour drive from Tel Aviv, a genocide is taking place. You know what? Let me be more accurate. It is a holocaust. Yes, a holocaust. Maybe we don't want to hear about it or deal with it that in the 21st century, in the age of social media, in a world where information can fit into the palm of your hand, in a world where you can see and hear the victims and their horror stories in real time, in this world, we are standing doing nothing while children are being slaughtered every single hour. Don't ask me who is right and who is wrong. Who are the good guys and who are the bad guys because nobody knows. And frankly, it doesn't matter. What matters is that it's happening right now in front of our eyes. And nobody in France or in the UK or in Germany or in America is doing anything to stop it. Who is marching in the streets for the innocent men and women of Syria? Who is shouting for the children? No one. The UN is holding meetings of its security consuls and wiping away a tear when they see the image of a father holding the body of his little daughter. There is a word for this, hypocrisy. I'm an Arab. I'm a Muslim. I'm a citizen of the state of Israel, but I'm also a citizen of the world and I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed as a human being that we chose leaders who are incapable of being articulate in their condemnation and powerful in their actions. I'm ashamed that the Arab world is being taken hostage by terrorists and murderers and that we are not doing anything. I am ashamed that the peaceful majority of humanity is irrelevant once again. Do we need a reminder? Armenia, Bosnia, Darfur, Rwanda, World War II. No, we don't. Albert Einstein said, the world won't be destroyed by those who do evil, but rather by those who watch them without doing nothing.